Hello and welcome back to TGTV and welcome to the south coast of France. Current location is the Grand Hotel Cap du Ferret. I know I've pronounced that completely wrong but it's an absolutely lovely hotel. More importantly though, I'm here with Rolls Royce and today is going to be absolutely ridiculous. You see behind me here, a brand new Rolls Royce Ghost with a £30,000 surfboard on the roof of it. We're going to take it to the beach. Uh, we're going to go around in the Phantom 8, Black Badge Ghost, and of course, this little number here. Today is going to be a lot of fun, so join me on our adventures. I really, I haven't really planned anything to be honest with you. I'm just going to try and enjoy the day and show you guys and girls how ridiculous this part of the world is. And a little bit more about how Rolls Royce actually operate, because they are very, very different to a lot of car companies. So hopefully you find the interesting, hopefully you find the video interesting, and hopefully you enjoy it. So come along and let's go. Confession, ladies and gentlemen, so the weather following my intro and my exciting plans for the day took a turn for the worse. I got involved in some sort of uh, aggressive weather system and there was a massive, massive storm. We went out on a yacht and things got, all got a little bit uh, hairy. So, change of plan. I'm now back at the hotel and I'm in the underground lair underneath the hotel. So I'm going to take you guys around here. There's some seriously cool stuff kicking around underneath and outside the front of the hotel. I thought Monaco was the best for cars, but I think Can has actually upstaged it completely. So walking down here anyway, I'm here with Rolls Royce, so it might not surprise you to see Phantom 8, the Black Badge Ghost, and then we've got a load of Black Badge Dawns here. We've got a standard Dawn there, I believe. Actually, no, that's a Black Badge one as well. That was the mayhem. Coming through here, there's more Rolls Royces down here. Sorry about the lighting, ladies and gentlemen. I'm walking around this car park. We've got an SV, a Ventilor SV, in a rather nice satin blue wrap actually. Red centre locks and wheels that have um, made very, very good friends with the curb. Oh, it's a Roadster with the roof off. I'm not sure I make of this spec to be honest with you, but hey, it's not my car, who cares? And then this, which I don't really know what to say anything about to be honest. I mean, yeah, okay. Rolling on through then, no pun intended. And there's Rolls Royces everywhere, what is going on down here? I met a friend as well, Ted. Yeah. Where are the cars at, boy? Down here, mate. Got some chairs down here as well. A GT2 RS lurking in the shadows, casual. It's mad just what's dumped underground, like completely out of the way. You wouldn't know it, I mean coming into this car park, I mean look at it, it's like... It's a bit grotty down there. What else have we got? Some sort of golf livery uh, racing car that I'm no doubt being screamed at for not knowing what it is. What on earth is that? Cobra. Cobra? Sick. That's all. Mansory Bentayga. That does actually look really, really good. Yeah. We will fully have that. I really like that. They've actually made the Bentayga look half decent. Anything else? Is that it? Okay, so I thought there was going to be a lot more than that down here. Let's go upstairs and take a look because that is definitely, definitely, absolutely ridiculous. I don't think I've ever seen a better lineup of cars parked up. Actually, maybe once that's on the Dorchester, but uh, we're not the Dorchester now, lads. On the way out, I just wanted to point out this Bentayga with yellow seats. That is all. Right, so it's absolutely pissing it down, but I am going to go and show you very, very quickly this lineup outside the hotel. So I'm staying in the Carlton, but we have a Khan Defender, first things first. We have an SV Roadster. 
We have a singer that is absolutely beautiful. Look at it in there. So cool. Those seats revive GT3 Touring inspiration here, ladies and gentlemen. But that is so cool. Probably the coolest thing I've ever seen. And the central petrol cap in the middle. So, so cool. We've got an SV here, an SV Roadster to be specific. I believe those are Novatec wheels as well. That's very, very cool. We all know I'm partial to an SV. Sick. We have this DMC, I believe. Oh no, this is this is an Aventador S, I think, with some DMC bits on it. Because this plate used to be on an old Aventador, I believe, a dark blue one in London. Very, very cool. We have a 720S here. And you listen carefully, you can hear the depreciation. We have a 6x6 here, which is absolutely stupid, totally stupid. Right in here, casually. Sorry, it's very, very busy and it's peeing it down. We have a Chiron. But that is not all, ladies and gentlemen. There's a new G63 here. This is the first time I've seen one of these in the flesh, and I'm actually very tempted to get one of these and turn my Defender out the door for it. So cool. They look so, so good. But there is also... <laughs> I can't believe I'm saying this another Chiron and this is exposed carbon so let's have a little look yep you can confirm that's exposed carbon there but going along the lineup is not finished ladies and gents we have a 488 spider in like Miami blue hello mate and we have the 812 super fast Mansory Sloan version and this has been seen in London it's got seen in Paul's latest video I believe I saw that in London the other day and now it's here in Cannes. Absolutely ridiculous. So this is the hotel we're staying in, the Carlton, with Rolls Royce. Hello mate. Yeah, yeah. Yep. Going along here again, there is another 6x6 six six because one 6x6 six six is not enough, quite clearly. So walking down the road, there is another Chiron. Ooh, a bit of tan inside, we like that. There is a Huayra, casual. We've got another Aventador with another kit on it, which I still don't know what any of these kits are. I don't know anymore. I give up. I absolutely give up. I don't know what kit that is or any of the other ones. We have another light blue 488. That might well be a wrap actually, that one. The last one was paint. We've got another Aventador here with another type of wing on it. What is going on? That's very cool spec though. Very, very cool. I like that a lot. That is a nice kit actually. It does look good. Anyway, continuing, we have a convertible G-Wagon. Love these, absolutely love these. You can't get these in the UK, they're all left-hand drive, these convertible G-Wagons. I think they're G500s. And then we have a, what is this? This is a Carrera T. No, it's not, move on. And we have, very, very special here actually. I believe this is, this might be a 70th anniversary Land Rover Defender. I think it may well be. That's very cool. That's absolutely sick. We like that. And some sort of transit or Renault or something or other. Hello. That's the lineup anyway. Um, probably going to go in the hotel now because I'm getting peed on. So coming back in the hotel, just before I go in, I thought I'd show you guys this unbelievable SLS Black Series. We have a 488 there, which looks positively boring in comparison. Yep. Getting some odd looks here, vlogging, being a car spotter. We've got 488 here. Auto focus on this camera, I must say, is not very good, ladies and gentlemen. And there is also another Aventador here. This might be DMC, actually. The other one might not be. I don't know what this kit is. I'm not very good with all these kits, I must be honest. This might be, this might be DMC or Novitech, who knows? I don't even know. Right, I'm gonna go inside anyway, I'm getting peed on. Okay, so I am now back, well I was gonna say back home, but I'm actually not back home. I'm actually currently in Germany on my next adventure. So to cut a long story short, I flew straight back into the UK from the Rolls Royce trip, straight back to my desk, and then I pretty much went straight back out again after work on another jolly. So you will find out more about the jolly that I'm on right now, although this doesn't look that much of a jolly. Uh, you'll find out more about this trip another time. That'll be another video. Don't panic. But I just want to say a huge, huge thanks to Rolls Royce and actually explain what I was even doing there in the first place because I appreciate there was a bit sort of a whistle stop 
and the content wasn't perhaps what I planned in the first place. The weather completely put pay to a lot of the fun stuff we had planned. So anyway, that was Rolls Royce Ghost with the surfboard on the roof. I want to talk a little bit more about that surfboard because I, I brushed over it and I expected to come back to it and do more content, but because it was we were caught in a hurricane, uh, hurricane TG, should we call it? Um, we didn't get to, didn't get a chance. So anyway, that surfboard is roughly around thirty thousand pounds worth. It is nine feet. It is nine feet two inches long, and it's commissioned by a company or commissioned built by a company called Woodpop. The surfboard and the ghost actually belong to one of Rolls Royce's patrons, and he spends his time gallivanting around the south of France in his ghost with a surfboard on the roof, going surfing. So that isn't that is not a press stunt or anything, that is a customer's car and his surfboard, which I find absolutely ridiculous, but incredible. Absolutely amazing, so big shout out to him for allowing us uh, access to the car and the surfboard. Uh, fortunately for him, we didn't actually get to go out on it, so uh, you lucked out there, mate. But that surfboard itself has like five different types of wood, there's um, gold leaf uh, within the kind of uh, design on it, it's absolutely ludicrous. I have no idea what I'm talking about when it comes to surfboards, or any, anything else for that matter, but it's very, very cool. Anyway, also I want to touch on the fact that Rolls Royce, they don't actually do any advertising. So what they do is they go to hotspots where a lot of their customers hang out and they just kind of have a load of their cars and they breeze around, they waft around and they allow customers to spec up their cars, drive them around, test them, blah, blah, blah. It's quite a relaxed, nice affair. Um, so I was invited out there just to come and have a little waft around, enjoy the south of France and see what there was to see. So huge, huge thanks to Rolls Royce Media. I'll do the little on the screen somewhere. But anyway, that is all i got time for. Hopefully there'll be some more Rolls Royce stuff very, very soon. And also it's left me thinking, do I want a Wraith? Well, I know I want a Wraith. In fact, I want a Wraith. Um, there is the small question of money. So we will, we will see what happens with that. But I'm thinking a Wraith to perhaps replace the Golf GTI. I've lost it. I've absolutely lost it. And on that rather bizarre bombshell, let me know in the comments what you think. Should I get a Wraith? I'm thinking Black Badge, um, but that is quite a lot of cash. Anyway, I will uh, ponder that to myself, but for now, thank you so much for watching. Do subscribe, blah, 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 and I'll see you again very, very soon. Bye!